Over the past week, Kevin and I explored our 29th country of Ireland. We drove our little home all along the wild Atlantic Way, seeing Ireland's rolling green hills, stunning cliffsides, and beautiful coastline, while having our fair share of fish and chips and pints of Guinness along the way. Now, after over a week on the road and a few bumps along the way... Oh, God. There's no... I think we've learned a thing or two about how to handle van life here in this beautiful new country. So today, we're going to share with you some of the tips we've learned and show you exactly what a typical van life day here in Ireland looks like. This wasn't going to be our first tip for the day, but since it just happened to be that we came across it, if you're driving in Northern Ireland or on your way to Northern Ireland, look out for some livestock on the road. We just passed goats, sheep, what are those? Sheep, rams. Rams? A whole bunch of rams on the road or next to the road, so watch out for that. There's lots of them. Also, the geography up here is so much different from Southern Iceland and it reminds us a lot Ireland. of like, oh, Ireland. What did I say, Iceland? Yeah. I keep interchanging those. Tip number two, if you're looking for food and you're doing a camper van here in Ireland, I recommend, or we recommend, Aldi and Little. Oh, shit. Cheddar cheese and hickory barbecue sauce. I hate barbecue sauce. You're gonna love this one. I really thought we were gonna hate yours, unlike mine. <laughs> Tip number three deals with driving. In Ireland, you drive on the left side of the road, so the steering wheel is on the right, a majority of the campers that I search for are manual shifts. So if you don't know how to drive manual, you're gonna pay a premium to get an automatic vehicle. So keep that in mind. Also, the roads are really, really tight. So I would advise against getting a really big wide camper. And just like that, we're back on the road. Where are we heading? Does that have a name? Uh, the town of Odowd Castle, the Odowd Castle in Etsky? Eski. Eski. Two hours and nine minutes to go. Quick pit stop from our driving is for tip number four, I think it is, is water. Water is actually super easily accessible here for camper vans, and you can just find it at the gas station. It's usually free, sometimes you have to pay. Um, but it is super easy. They either have this little gun that you see here that you can just shoot right in your water hole <laughs> or uh, attach a hose to this little, well this one doesn't have it, but sometimes they'll have a hose connector. But yeah, super easy and super convenient. You like the combo? I like to drive barefoot, but the clutch is starting to destroy the bottom of my foot, so I put my shoe in. I can't drive in flip-flops. If you can relate, let me know. What's also interesting about gas stations here in Ireland is that they're kind of a one-stop shop. In addition to the water fill, you can also get your car washed. And some even have laundry facilities, so super clutch. I'd say we're about done. All done. Booyah. Free water. Hello. Yeah, I'm free. Years of ever been, yeah, I think you maybe be looking. Now take a chance if you wanna. We have officially found the surfing spots in Ireland. It looks like you just camp here too. It's awesome. There's a right point break. I think there's a left point break straight up ahead. There's like a castle looking thing behind us. This is awesome. Wait, you read that? We finally that? found the surf mecca in Ireland. This is like the cold version of Baja with being able to park right along the beach here right in front of a surf spot. It's so cool. Loving it. But I'm here to show you another tip. If you uh, have watched some of our vlogs and seen the this sign right here, that is a WAW for the Wild Atlantic Way which is the major coastal highway that does all of Western Ireland. So each spot has this kind of like landmark sign and along the highway itself has the blue WAW just looks like a giant squiggly line. You mean it's not just a squiggly line? Yeah, it kind of looks like a squiggly line. 
I like it though. It's cool. Wow. I left my computer off. Did you lock it? Yeah, I did. Wow, there's like fireplace. Dead bodies. Another fireplace. Pillars. Another fireplace. Letters. It's like a second floor. It's crazy to think that we're like just going surfing and then walking by like a ancient ruin, ancient ruin castle from like the 1500s or something. All right, we have another tip for you at the gas station. If you're buying gas, make sure, well, you don't have a choice. You have to fill up before you pay and you can't pay outside of the pump. You have to fill, you have to pay inside in the station. So keep that in mind. Don't look like an idiot when you get gas for the first time. So for whatever reason, at every gas station or like 90% of them, ice cream is such a big thing. Everywhere, and, not even at just the gas station. Yeah, and they call it 99, which is vanilla ice cream, soft serve, like custard with a little chocolate stick. We don't get it, the chocolate stick, because I don't like chocolate. And Taylor doesn't mind not having it, I guess. But at this place, they gave you rainbow sprinkles, which were fabulous. Their sprinkles might be better than our sprinkles. Hmm. Maybe. They're but smaller. If you go to a gas station, you'll quickly learn about this because you'll see everyone walking outside after they pay with ice cream in their hand. So we decided to give it a shot, and it is so good. So creamy. And cheap. $2.50. Euro. Wow. That mm -hmm. puts Core Brothers to shame. Oh, yeah. Core Brothers is like a good seven fifty. Mm-hmm. Insane. This is so good. Yeah, you got, you're missing a lot of sprinkles on the other side. Okay. Well, I eat all the other ones, so you should eat them. What? You knew you like your sprinkles. I was wondering where they went. Well, it was about to drip all over me. Silly. Oh. <laughs> what a tease. Our next tip is for finding places to sleep at night. We use an app called Park for Night. It's basically like the European Eye Overlander. Our Overlander is not really that strong here in Europe, at least in Norway. So uh, Park for Night was really good in Norway, and it's really good in Ireland. So we've been using that, and we are going to use it right now to go to our next camping spot, which apparently has water views, so we'll go figure it out. Luckily, our camper has uh, Apple CarPlay, because if not, it would be pretty difficult to hold the GPS and drive manually. You mean hold the cone? I have no hands to drive right at the moment. And all the things in your hands are necessities. <laughs> this is great. So this spot pulls right up to, I guess, like a bay lagoon area. And at low tide, it's accessible. You could drive all the way across. But when the tide goes up and it's high tide, it fills in with water. And this Audi literally just drove across, probably with like six inches of water as it was coming across right now. So I wonder if they just destroyed their car because it's definitely salt water, but that is just crazy. The spot is awesome. Here I felt it. Oh, you like it? I love this spot. Sunset views, water views. <laughs> this is where we're sleeping tonight. Look at this giant mountain behind me. It's so cool. There's someone driving across in their van right now and it's insane. I can't believe it. Jesus. Face. No, it's <laughs> wild. Literally just drove across water. So the tide's going out. It's about mid tide right now, so it's gonna be easier and easier to get across, but it's still wild that you're just driving on water. Yeah. Like there could be a deep spot, you have no idea. I'm sure they know. It's too bad there's no clouds because it could be an awesome sunset. We were young, so in love we saw forever. We were caught up in the wonder of it all We were wild, we were foolish for each other There was nothing that could pull us far apart And will it be like this forever? Or will we slowly drift apart? Don't wanna be that same old story I wanna die in your arms 
when the waters come between us. Well, there's one last tip for Ireland van life and Ireland in general is that say hi to the locals. They are the friendliest people. Not that we ever met. <laughs> they are very friendly. Super friendly. Super and welcoming. Super, uh, what's the word? Approachable. Yeah. Super approachable. They will talk to you and tell you about all the good spots and, I don't know, answer all of your questions or at least answer all of our questions. Um, yeah. And we've had a really good experience. So definitely just chat with the locals. Enjoy it. And if we missed a tip or you have a good tip, we'll add a pinned comment and we can add that in there too. But, uh, yeah, if Ireland was on your list, definitely get to it because it's been amazing so far. And I wish we had more time.